Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So apparently this is the month for all of the individuals who are in relationships with and dating celebrities to not understand the importance of not taking their problems in the relationships with the person they are dating to social media. So apparently Jonah Hill's girlfriend, who I'm assuming is now his ex-girlfriend, leaked some text messages between the two of them. Apparently they were having some issues. Um, Jonah Hill, I guess, was trying to establish some boundaries and she had a problem, an issue with these said boundaries. You know, now, like I said, she leaked the text messages. I don't know why she would do this. Um, she claimed that they had a therapist they were going to. She should have left it at that. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. People need to keep their relationship business off of social media because all it does is blow everything out of proportion. Now everybody's looking at Jonah Hill like he's some crazy narcissistic madman and i don't believe that's the truth now she posted these pictures of text messages that she took i guess screenshots if you will of him saying like you know if you have to do this or if you feel the need to do xyz abc you know then maybe i'm not the person for you you know i'm looking through this list i can kind of understand where he's coming from for the most part especially the part where he was saying the you know boundaryless inappropriate friendships with men and you know hanging out with women who you know they don't have any standards or class like I can understand that a lot of people are giving you know throwing shade at him for that and here's what I have to say about that don't do anything to somebody that you wouldn't want done to you so like I said it's very reasonable and I think you know integrity you know having of integrity so to speak to say that you don't want your you know person who you're dating to be hanging around friends or people of the opposite sex who are not going to engage in appropriate relationships with them or have them out here doing crazy stuff you know it's not crazy to not want your partner out with people who you know are a bad influence on them bad communication corrupts good manner we should know this by now it's not crazy for you to be in a relationship with somebody and say i don't think you should hang out with them because they're not good for your life. They're going to have you doing backflips off of the house. And the last thing I want is for you to break your neck. And then, you know, then I'm going to have to be upset. And if y'all are married, then that's money out of both y'all's pockets to fix something stupid that wouldn't have happened had not they, you know, paid more attention to who they were hanging around. And even with the, the whole relationships with friends of the opposite sex who you know, let's be honest, we all know we've got friends of the opposite sex who, you know, quite frankly... In the right situation they probably would make a move so to speak or they would probably do or say something that's really not right and some people let it slide because that's their friend and they really don't want to you know confront their friend and what they're doing that's wrong which is not right but that's the kind of stuff that happens in these friendships when you do not create boundaries and make sure they adhere to those boundaries so that's not crazy and i don't like when people treat people like they're crazy for expecting that from somebody who they're in a relationship with i don't know what it is about being in a relationship that people can't seem to understand but there are things you don't do and again if you don't want it done to you don't do it to the other person now there was another part where he was talking about how he didn't want her to post sexual pictures or be around i guess certain individuals or like people of the opposite sex um are engaging too deeply with them you know while she was surfing or whatever because i think she's like a surf instructor or she's a surfer if i'm not mistaken now to a degree i can understand that because again let's be honest like can we please not you know try to bullcrap anybody on you know on this whenever women are posting pictures you know explicit pictures that's almost like them saying that they're still on the market what reason do you have to post pictures that you know you're half naked if you're already with somebody that's how i feel and i could be wrong but that's how i feel and i think that that's the case and some people might say oh i can post whatever i want to well yeah that's true but again would you want your husband or your boyfriend posting pictures of them with no shirt on for all the women single or otherwise to see eat up sexualize knowing good and well seeing them that way is going to make them want them even more and these are the same women who would be chasing after them and them telling you oh you ain't got to worry about them but let anything happen to y'all they're gonna be the first ones that they go run to now the reason why i said i understand to a certain degree is because i am extending grace and mercy to those who have like a job like let's say for instance the person is a model now, you knew this person was a model before you got with them. So if you are upset because they have to show their body in certain pictures, especially if they're a model for like, you know, God forbid, underwear or like, you know, swimwear, you knew this came to the territory of being with them if that's their job. So why are you now trying to set this boundary knowing what they do for a living? 
It's kind of, you know, hypocritical and but backwards. Like I said before, if I'm not mistaken, the young woman who is, I'm assuming now his ex-girlfriend is a surfer. If I'm not mistaken, I think she was even like a surf instructor. I could be wrong about that, but she is a surfer. Now, I don't know if that's what she does for a living, but clearly this is a hobby, something she is very deeply involved in and something that is a part of her life. I know he knew this before he got with her. I know he didn't find this out after the fact, but if he knew this, which like I said, I believe that he did, before this, now you trying to set boundaries on top of something, a habit, you know, a hobby, something a part of her life that she's already established. Bad idea. Unwise. Because it's not going to happen. People are stuck in their ways. They're going to do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? And I do believe there's a way to do something like that without it being, you know, done wrong, so to speak, or something bad coming out of it. There's nothing wrong with having standards. There's nothing wrong with having boundaries. The issue is how you implement them, when you implement them, and who you choose to implement them with. You know what I'm saying? Like if somebody's already, you know, doing X, Y, Z, something you might not like, trying to tell them, I don't want you to do this, and they've already established this, like I said, it's unwise. And I've said this a thousand times, and I'll say it a thousand times more. People have got to pay attention to and be careful with who they choose to get into a relationship with. If that was how he felt with his boundaries and the moment that he, you know, presented that to her or at least when he tried to that first time and she was like, I'm not doing that, it would have been better for them to just separate instead of trying to still make things work. Because like I said, people are set in their ways. They're going to do what they want to do. You can't force somebody to do something. I think the real problem with a lot of these relationships, like I said, not choosing the right person, like somebody's toxic, not doing the right thing and they don't want to do the right thing or treat people right. But the main issue is a lot of people keep expecting themselves from other people. Whatever they feel, however their mindset is, whatever they think, they keep expecting that from somebody else. And whenever they get resistance or they can't get that, they either try to just still make it happen and stay in that relationship and just keep doubling down instead of going and finding somebody who will, you know, who's basically equally yoked, so to speak, who's going to have the same mindset, who's going to be on the same page. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's so easy to go and find somebody who's like minded or is on the same page as you. But like I said before, I feel like people try to force relationships with other people and it's just not meant to be sometimes. You know, like I said, whenever you have to try and go back and forward, because in those last text messages, he was dropping some S-bombs and he seemed pretty mad that, you know, she wasn't quite getting the point, I guess. And it, like, it's not, you know, worth you having a mental breakdown or you snapping at somebody and then them screenshotting your text messages or recording your voicemails and then uploading it to the Internet and making you look crazy. You know, it's not worth you, you know, being at your wit's end trying to make somebody do what you want them to do. At the end of the day, either... What's going to happen is going to happen or you're going to go your separate way. and You're going to find somebody. You're going to find somebody, you know, that will be on the same page with you as your boundaries, as your standards. But the issue is people keep trying to, like I said, force these relationships with people that they don't need to be with, expecting themselves from other people, whether they're in the right or in the wrong. And like I said, people need to just find individuals that will be on the same page as them, that will come into agreement with them. Does it not the scripture say, how can two walk together unless they agree? Y'all gonna have some stumbling days and some tripping nights if you can't agree on the simplest of things, for real. And it's just ridiculous, like I said, to still try and stay with somebody knowing that it's just not working. But anyways, in conclusion, like I said, and for those who might be confused still, I do agree with him for the most part. Like I said, I fell off because I think that he knew that she was a surfer or she was involved in that kind of lifestyle before he met her. And it's just unwise to try and change somebody or change their lifestyle for you. No amount of you, your love, or you imposing any kind of boundaries or expecting respect from them is going to make them change something that they've already made a habit or a lifestyle. And people need to get with people who they can agree with and stop trying to force relationships or if you know somebody's not good for your life and they're displaying some habits that you don't like that might be toxic, walk away. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel down in the comments below respectfully. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed day.